Hi guys, this is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio and this Monday we're bringing you a product review video and the reason for that is recently we got sent a uh, package in the post to just do a review on uh, which is nice, it makes a change from my regular schedule and this is the Grinning Gargoyle Fantasy Paint Starter Set and um, it is full of Army Painter war paints and um, there's a lot of them in there it comes with a few washers, a few metallics and a brush I will point out at the beginning of this video, this, this is not paid promotion or we are not sponsored by these companies either. Uh, this is just a fair and honest review and that's how we're going to keep all of our product reviews. If we don't like something in a product, we will tell you why we don't like something. So hopefully uh, when you watch these videos, you'll know you're getting a, a fair judgment of whatever these items are that we're now reviewing. So now we're down on the desk guys so you can uh, see what I'm looking at. and. Uh, this is the box set, like I said, it's a quite a large box set, there's plenty in it. Out of the 20 paints, you have 16 acrylics, 2 metallics, 2 washers and 1 brush. And uh, the list is actually quite extensive, as you, as you can see there from the back, and uh, there's a nice variety of paints there. If you've got these colours, including your 3 primaries there, uh, you can mix these to make anything pretty much that's what i found what we're going to do in a bit in this video once we've opened this and had a look at the paint talked about the sort of colors that they are what they match we'll uh, throw down some paint on one of the models and uh, just see how quickly we can smooth that out and uh, muck about with this a little bit just to get a good idea before we give you a summary at the end so let's get this thing open and uh, have a look inside I do like the packaging for this, it's a uh, very snazzy, good use of colours and contrast. It has two whole stacks there of uh, paints, uh, one of them's popped out. And uh, a paintbrush. Now this box actually goes for $39.99, so if you divide that by the uh, amount of paints you get, plus the brush that works out at $1.99 per paint, which is uh, usually that's quite a decent saving on paints like this, as the 18 millimeters are usually 250 to 3 pound. Now let's take a moment to have a look at this brush. The uh, brush itself, uh, I've been mucked about with it before recording the audio for this video. It is just a basing brush. It's, you're not going to get any detail work out of those bristles, as you can tell. Uh, you can see how they uh, fan out when you uh, when you paint something, which is what they're for, you know, paint a cloak, a uh, piece of armor, just to get that first base coat down. Now, they are very soft bristles, so I will uh, assume by that that the other army painter brushes are actually decent. So maybe if you get this set, maybe buy a extra set of brushes of different types as well. Even running that in my mouth now, you can see that uh, it's very long bristles and comes to a point. So this is the uh, Vampire Red, which is extremely, somewhere in between, uh, Vampire Red's in between Mephiston Red and um, Corn Red. Now Goblin Green is literally just a classic Goblin Green. Uh, what I didn't know about the Army Painter paints is uh, it tells you on here, for the matte black, that it matches the primer exactly. And so does this one, this Skeleton Bone, which seems to be somewhere in between the Carrick Stone by Games Workshop and a Screaming Skull. It also fits in between quite well with some of the game colour paints. Then you've got your, your white, which uh, we don't really need to talk about as it's a white. I was interested in this one in particular, the uh, Mythical Orange. As you can tell guys, I've sped this video up because I uh, just want to shorten down my dialogue and show you all the paints that are in here. So this is the Oak Brown and Barbarian Flesh, which is a nice flesh. We're going to use that later on. Uh, just to see how well it covers and see how it comes up because there's some washes in here for flesh too. Uh, leather brown, again a nice colour. We have um, pure red which is basically a, a blood red by Games Workshop. Um, it's a very vibrant cartoony red like a poster paint red. This is one we use all the time in our tutorials, uh, the one we're familiar with, Army Paint a Strong Tone. It's like an Agrax Earth shade, but it's a little less orangey, so you can get a much more earthy brown. And I'm looking forward to uh, playing with these metallics in a minute as well. This one is the plate metal metallics. Then we've got the uh, deep blue, which is a quite a decent colour. And then the other metallic that you get is a bright gold. And there's only a few more paints left to go through here. We've got demonic yellow. Um, 
very vibrant like a flash gets if i'm obviously comparing these to games workshop because we have so many paints in the studio it's just the easiest one to compare them to um Sullivan green which is a it's just an all right color uh, reminds me of a few of the games workshop ones and this warm purple i'm definitely interested in using this sometime in the future on a project then we have troglodyte blue which is a very interesting name for a paint but there you go it's a very fantasy uh, blue which you would expect as this is a fantasy range we have dungeon gray and finally this which we've never tried is the flesh wash uh, I do like the washers, um, I really do, by this company. So what I've done here is I've just put them all together uh, in groups. So you end up with these two washers. We end up with two colours that are, are from the yellow spectrum. Then we've got a blue, a dark blue, a light blue, dark red, light red, dark green, light green. Same for the browns. And then we go into a, a sort of a mix match. So those alone there with your, your primaries, you can mix any color that you want really. Then you've got your white and black to darken them down, lighten them up. And it's nice that they've thrown in some other colors like a dungeon gray and a purple, as well as a flesh and a bone. As well as two metallic colors. So looking at this as a set right now, I would be, I'm quite happy that we've got this. We don't really have any army paints in the studio. So if I was gonna start an army painter collection, this is definitely a good place to start. It's already started filling up a, a slot on the shelf. All right, so just as a quick demo, uh, just so you can see these paints and this brushing work, I'm gonna stick with the brush that came with the set. We're gonna use the Barbarian Flesh, and I'm gonna put it over this black, even though you should never really put flesh over black, but we're doing it anyway, just to see the consistency. And what I did notice while painting this figure, which I think is a Mantic figure, the style of paints and the tone of paints are straight out of the pot seem like the type of paints, not only for fantasy, but if you do period style uh, war games like bow action or something like that, or you paint Romans, especially with this particular red. I believe this was the uh, vampire red. And as you can see, this is where I decided I'm not really a fan of this brush because it uh, scores down the middle there. And it sort of spreads the paint to one side. But this is a free brush, guys. It comes with a box set. So um, I really can't complain. I could, I could have easily used one of my own. This is the Plate Metal Metallics. And credit where credit due, this, this is actually quite a good silver. It's the same shade, pretty much, as a um, bolt gun metal. Uh, but it goes on a lot smoother. Now this is the other metallic, which was the bright gold. Almost the same, um, it does spread quite well, it's not too bad. Um, again, I am using a brush that I'm not familiar with, so that may, it may um, tie into a, my opinion on this, so get some of this flesh wash. And I'm going to apply this to, um, well, both his arms, but firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a thick version to one of his arms because I've not tried this particular color before as you can see that I tried one of the uh, blues there I think the deep blue on those uh, balls of energy on his arms so this is the flesh tone straight from the pot onto my brush just to see what um, sort of color it has and it does have sort of an orangey hue to it um, I can see this being useful for quite a few things as uh, most brown washers are, and I do know that the army paint a strong tone and the army paint a blue tone, they spread really well. That's what I'm sort of testing here. I'm going to put that on the armor as well so we can see what's going on there. And then what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to water it down a bit and then test it out on the other parts as well. I mean, this only took me like five minutes to muck about painting, throwing the paint on, washing the brush off. But um, with these colors, mixing them up, taking your time, or following our tutorials and just using these paints instead of the ones um, we use. Um, I would definitely say get a set of this if you're interested in the army painter stuff, especially more if you're into fantasy or period style war games. So what I will say is for the price, 
$39.99. Brush, two metallics. The paints are very decent quality. The value there is a uh, spot on. The only thing I think lets it down a bit is the, the brush. As this product goes, I'm gonna give this a uh, nine out of 10 squigs. It's fairly priced. The paint's a great quality. I'm just, uh, just didn't like the brush. So I'm gonna knock it down a little bit there. So if you want one of these yourself, you gotta follow the link in the description straight to the seller and uh, grab yourself one of those. Definitely cheap enough and it's a uh, really good quality. We're glad we got ours. So if, if you like that video guys, hit like. If you really wanna help out this channel, hit share. And if you only just found this channel through reviews, please go check out the rest of our channel because we do a lot of tutorials. Please do not judge how I usually paint by the uh, paint job on, on this. And uh, we shall catch you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching.